the juvenile court has broad discretion to act in the best interest of the children. That is what dependency proceedings are all about, and it states very clearly. So why don't we even have a hearing? Why don't we? Why don't? Why doesn't DFAX just go to the judge? Say, Judge, here's what we need you to do. We need you to sign the order, kind of like probation was doing in in East Georgia, which the, the Supreme Court found to be unconstitutional. And go go pick the kid up, and you know, because you've already decided that, that they're deprived or dependent. Uh, but, but yeah, 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 the procedures require a hearing, right? The procedure is required back when the children are de are determined to be dependent. So they didn't even need a hearing that day. They don't need a hearing. They don't need notice. The juvenile court has the authority to act in the best interest of the children. Based upon what, though? Because the, the juvenile court, in his infinite wisdom, can decide now this is in the best interest of the children. And I, and I don't need to hear from the children or the parents or anybody else. As long as the government says it's okay, then by God, it's okay. Yes, that's what the juvenile court has the authority to do, and your that remedy at that point, your remedy at that point, is to appeal. It doesn't make the order void. So, so what happens during the appeal? You just don't have your kids. You have to wait eight months for this court to rule. Yes, and it's the juvenile with no court. due process. Well, you do have due process. You have the right to appeal. Let me tell you what went on here. This is my guess from being on the bench a long time, down in the in the bar fights that are superior court. I'm telling you this. So you're telling me that. DFACs can come to you, take your children, get you in front of the juvenile court judge and says, listen, sign the consent order and we're going to let you, we'll let your children stay with you. And you say, whatever it takes, because I just want to go home with my babies. That's all I want to do. Kind of like the mama said here, please don't take the children. And they say, fine, just do it. You can DFACs, you stay at home with your children, keep rocking along, keep doing drugs. Just get off of them when you can. And then eventually, when you cross the defects, they go to the judge by themselves, and then they take your children, and that's constitutional in this country? Yes, well, they had counsel. I live in the wrong they country. Had count at the time they stipulated to the dependency, they were represented. If that's them. true, then the entire statutory regime in Georgia is unconstitutional. Yeah, well, I'm not. just I'm just telling you, because if, that's, if, that's, if that is honestly the state's position, then you, you're going to see something like the parole case it, it that that's just unbelievable to me that that's the state's position yeah that is in fact what the juvenile code provides wow